Hey everyone, it's Colby with Kowalski Designs and I am doing some testing on some laser cut sublimation products. And uh, so I figured I'd do a little video. Um, I've done a couple already. Uh, I did, I put my mom's name on these ornaments. So she was over for dinner tonight with my dad. And she was like, oh, they've got my name on them. So she took them. So I've got to do a couple more just so I can do proper testing, but I'm going to do it on three materials. Um, the first one, let me take you over here with the tripod, is um, this stuff right here. This is from, let me see if I can find the UPC. It's from Lowe's. Uh, it's probably the one, it's probably in there. Let's see here. Take this. Uh, these, if you don't have these for your laser, you're missing out. These are the bar magnets from Harbor Freight. I have four and I put them around uh, whatever I'm putting in here and it holds it down very well. I don't ever have to worry about stuff moving. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there it is. I've already cut through it. Um, but this stuff is from Lowe's. It's an eighth inch marker board wainscot, um, is what it's called. Not all wainscot has lines, like some people like to think. Um, let's put this down. Uh, as you can see, I've already cut some shapes on here. Now this stuff is not, it doesn't say it's for sublimation. It's not sublimation coated or anything like that, but it works. And I'm dialing in my settings uh, I printed this one and uh, it's sticking, so I've got to try another another temperature on it. So let's go back over here. Oh, over here I might as well tell you about the three things that I'm testing it on. Um, this is Columbia Forest product. It is the this stuff is amazing from um, Home Depot, but it's expensive. It's almost 50 bucks for a four by eight sheet. And then this stuff here is called Sanded Ply. And it's also from Home Depot and it is only like $20, uh, maybe 23 for a four by eight sheet. Um, so I cut one there, but I gotta cut another one because that's one of the ones that she took. Um, but I already have the Columbia Forest upstairs. So here we will cut one out of this uh, 50 board from Lowe's. That stuff is, um, it's like $15 for a little, it's a little bit bigger than a two by four foot sheet. I think it's like 32 or 33 inches or something like that. It's really weird shape. Um, so let's go over here, camera. Let's update our overlay. This is all gonna be in here. I do import um, and I am doing the elephant. Um, so let's ungroup this. I don't need, all I need is um, this right here. I haven't been doing, I did these, the front on one set, but I think these look pretty good without even having the frame around it. Uh, get rid of this. Let's group this so all these little pieces are all together. Let's take this guy. Let's put him right there. Okay, cut layers. Uh, I'm just going to run through these two real quick. So I'm going to keep it at the same. 12 speed, 55 power. That's probably overkill. Bring you back over to the laser. Don't run your laser with the door open. I know everybody says that and then they do a video of them doing it. I'm gonna do the same thing. What? There's a little magnet right there. So I can do that. Because I bypassed it. Let's do a quick frame. Boom, boom. Great. Let's check focus. My focus is 18. I printed this out on acrylic. I did have 
a wooden one, but as you can see there, every time the nozzle would hit there and I would go back and forth and start to wear, so it really wasn't 18 anymore. But just cut it out of acrylic, bring the laser forward, where we're cutting. Okay, let's go up, nope, hitting it, go down a little bit. There we go, we're good. There's focus. All right, we're ready. This is gonna take 55 seconds. Here we go. Try to make this a quick video. I don't know. We'll see. It definitely won't be as long as a lithos and laser video. Those things are like motion pictures. But he does great information. He's helped me so much with all this like sublimation stuff. So uh, that and Photoshop, which I think is uh, made by the devil himself. But let's get this cut out, and then we'll swap it out, and we'll put in um, the sand and fly. So these bars, they're so good. And they're like a couple of bucks. So just go to Harbor Freight and get yourself a couple. Alright, so that's uh Now this stuff will um, have some charring on it, on the top. Just a little... So it's going to have that kind of stuff on there. But like a microfiber or cloth with some like LA Awesome light, light coating. It'll take care of it real quick. Make sure everything's pushed through. Let's set up our... Sand and fly. This stuff is great. down. I'll keep you over there to keep focus so you can actually see this time. Alright, so see on mine, I have the up and down button so I don't have to twist the knob. So bring it in. As you can see, it's hitting so we're going to go down. Focus is set. We come back over here. Now we have to update camera. You can see that. Take our little shape. Let's put it right there. We'll do the same settings, just 12 to 55, just so we don't have to mess with stuff. Bring you back down. Hopefully you guys aren't getting nauseous from all this movement. I'm not good with this whole, like, uh, view my screen and screen recording and microphone and all that stuff. So I hope you can hear me. All right, so let's cut it now out of this. The sand it fly. Now with the sand and fly um, and sublimation, everybody's like, you can't sublimate on wood unless it's like Unisub or you put polycrylic or anything like that on it. I don't. Um, I've tried it with polycrylic and sticks, uh, paper sticks. But uh, all I'm gonna do with this is just give it a light sanding on the front, just to knock off any char that's on the front there. Yes, I should get the air assist and then I won't have to worry about it, right? Well, I just have it. I've had this machine for like over two years and it's completely stock pretty much. Well, other than the camera, I guess. Everything else on it is stock. Still the same laser tube and everything. As you can see from my honeycomb here that probably needs to be cleaned, everything comes out just fine. So we'll give that a light sanding. So let's go. Back over here. Let's 
close this. Turn that off. Yeah, turn that off. My mini split. Oh, I love it. It is such a benefit to having. There's my new 55, uh, 50 watt. This is for my tumblers. If you've seen in some of my videos, it's got my pie burn in there. There's the fiber and there's the CO2 galvo. And then here is a little workstation. I'll show you how I, I'm not going to stand in here. I'll stand out in the garage. Well, I am in the garage, but this is a room in the garage. But what we'll do is we'll take a little LA Awesome. And we'll just give it a little, a little sports court. Take a blue towel. We'll just give it a wiping off. Okay. Perfect. So the settings that I've been using and having it stick was uh, 350 at 90 seconds. Um, it stuck like crazy yesterday. Like I almost ruined some pieces because it was so stuck to it and I was scraping, scrubbing so much that it was like taking off the white layer. Um, and then I tried uh, 350 at 120 seconds and that was better, it still stuck. Um, but then the other suggestion was to do um, 325 at 90 seconds and see how that does. So next we'll turn off my exhaust fan. And then we will go out into the garage, the non-laser part of the garage. Here in the tripod, so I'll take you with me. And what we'll do is we'll just give this. Alexa, turn on the shop lights. There we go. We'll raise this so you can see me. So you can see. I'm not doing any magic tricks here. This isn't David Copperfield. That's where I sprayed the ones yesterday. So this here's a Diablo sandy block. It's got 220 on it. What we'll do is we will just give it a quick that way, quick that way. And that's it. So now, got all the sawdust over it. I'm going to take my air compressor, put you this way, just so everybody can see. Hopefully that's not too loud for you. Okay, so that's it. That's all that's on there. Okay. So we have the white one. That's the dirty up there. And we have this one. All right. Let's go upstairs. I'll pause you up to we'll get back when we get upstairs. All right. So through the magic of pause and unpause, we're back. We are upstairs in my office, and we're gonna start the. We're gonna do the heat press. So we're gonna do three twenty-five for. 90 seconds. All right, so we're gonna let that heat up. And while that's doing that, we are going to go over here. These are the elephants. So I need to do three of these. Um, could just switch over a little bit here. So here's, this is the, my lighting up here is horrible. So here's the CFP, that's, that's worse. Um, this is Columbia Forest. It's got really good um, wood grain on there. This is the sanded ply, as you can see the wood grain there. 
And then this is the wainscot stuff, surfy whiteboard, whatever, from um, Lowe's. So we're gonna do this one first. This one's 325 at 90, Let's see if it sticks. And then these two we're gonna do um, at 350 at 120, because that worked pretty good. So let's go up here. I am not good with Photoshop, um, but I need to get a third one in here. So we're gonna move that guy over there. Move this guy over here. And let's see if we can We did a third layer, but Damn, I am horrible with this. I'm surprised I've gotten anything done. Let's see if we put that guy there. I need to get a third one in here. Let's see if we can duplicate the group. All right. Now, how do we rotate him? No, I don't want to do everything. I thought, I thought if I click on a group, it only does the group. So if I put this guy down here, and then I guess that will be, I don't know if that's gonna be enough for me to cut. How do I rotate these guys? That's what I need, I need to know how to rotate it. Image rotation. Well, how do I just how do I rotate just one? See if this was um, light burn, ah, oh, it'd be so easy. I keep seeing that little. There we go. There we go. I guess that's... I guess that's good enough. All right, so now we gotta apply. And then if we wanna move this one, and then if we wanna move this one, there we go. That guy, I guess, is in the middle. All right, so let's print this. We are going to do this on landscape on eight and a half by 14. I got it all set up here. So that looks like that should be fine. All right, let's print. It's gonna tell me whatever, I don't know. It tells me that every time, but nothing's ever cut off. All right, so I'm gonna let this print and then we'll come back. Okay, that finally printed. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these out. I'm gonna use this roller and uh, just gonna trim off 
side of the edges here. And we are going to roll right through there. So we are going to put the, I'm going to save the two wood ones for the wood ones. And this white one, I like to take my light here, and then I put this on here, and then I look down here, and I follow. Once I line it up, I follow it all the way around. And line it up that way. And then we got this handy tape. Yeah, so that's that one. I'm going to do all these separate, but I will tape them all right now. So this is the Columbia Forest product. This comes in a 4 by 8 sheet at Home Depot. Might have made my edges too trimmed. If I got no tape room, it'd be all right. But we can do this. We can take this piece. And if we lift it, it can just go right over. So we got that one. And then last, we have the sanded ply, which you saw me sand it. It's just easier for me to line it up by rotating it. Like I said, this is not the, I don't have the best lighting in here. I need to fix that. Let me do one more right there. Okay. So these are ready to go. Let's take this one and swing it back over here. All right, so the heat press is ready. We have a couple of uh, pick towels, blue pick towels down. We got that. We got the parchment paper. We do another piece of parchment paper. Slide that back in there. Pull this and we are doing 325 at 90 seconds. I'll be back. All right, the heat press is going off. Let's rotate this. Let's do this. Oh, that guy there. Hot. Let's see if we're stuck. Ooh. No sticking. It is super hot though. But 
Okay, so that's good. As you can see here, we've got like no ink left there. It did not stick. It was a little off on my lining up, but I could come back with a Sharpie. So that's that. As you can see that there, came out really good. All right, so let's do, this one is the sanded ply, but we're going to put him right there because we're going to adjust this up to 350 for the wood. For 120 seconds. So, while we wait for that to heat up, this one came out really good. As you can see, it's got a nice little gloss to it. The colors are very vibrant. And this is that wood, that's where the tape just pulled. But yeah, this is the wood, the thrifty white wainscot from Lowe's. It's uh, $15 for a sheet. It's like 33 by 48 or something like that. Uh, not 48, um, yeah, 48. It's like three feet by four feet. It's a weird shape. So what I'll do with these little white spots here is I'll just run a Sharpie around those and that'll be fine. So I think we are, all right, so we're up to 350. So again, parchment paper, print, parchment paper. And press and we'll be back. All right, we are about five seconds away from the sanded ply one being done. And then we will put in the Columbia Forest. Slide that over. Take this. Pop that there. This is the Columbia Forest one. Same thing. We've got the paper towels, the parchment the print the parchment and again we're going to do this for at 350 and 120 seconds let's see how this one did no sticking okay so that one gave me more of a yellowish because this one had this one had the wood um background on it which I kind of like the other one where the wood part was not a print it was just blank but still that's how it came out I mean the color of the elephant is kind of the same color here but as you can see you've got the red the white is a little muted but because it's wood and there's no coating on here but as you see this is the one that we sanded so still came out really good I mean if you change this color these are kind of the same that's why it kind of looks that way but yeah this is nothing on this this is just straight wood that I cut with the laser and supplemented at 350 for 90 seconds so is it as good as this no but this is like sub stuff well this isn't sub stuff it's similar Can you get by with this? Yeah, you can do these and charge a lot less than you would charge for these. All right, we got 30 seconds. And then the other one will be done. That is the Columbia Forest product. We'll check that out and see how that looks. And then we can look at all three of them and see how they go. So, so mostly I do is laser stuff. So being able to do the sublimation stuff is just an added bonus. Um, because cutting out all these little pieces and then painting them and then gluing them, it's not a ton of fun, especially when you got to glue little, little, little pieces like that. All right. 
And that's done. We'll turn the heat press mm -hmm. off. And let's uh let's pull this. Okay, so basically looks just like the other one. You see all the ink pretty much came off. But I'm not taking that elephant and that wood background here are a good choice with this because the wood is a very similar color. So, I mean, you're still getting the same color. I mean, look at that. You've got the blue on there, just like on there. Is it as vibrant? No, but this is like a whiteboard kind of material. This is just straight wood. So... Just to let you know there's some options out there. I'm sure if we changed the color on the on the elephant and did something different, it would show up a little bit different. Or even the wood, if we didn't do the wood. But there you go. Alright. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell icon so that way you're notified when the next video comes. And uh let me know what you guys think of this laser sublimation stuff. All right, bye.